So you know I've been getting a lot of questions about software engineering, how I got my job, what I do, especially how I got my job and how to improve programming. So I thought I'd just give my own experience. So I'm bringing you another video, Jord here from Jordan Shar, and I didn't go to Berkeley or MIT or Stanford or Vanderbilt like you know a lot of YouTubers that you see. I just went to a small university you've never heard of. I didn't start programming when I was 12. I didn't have internships at Salesforce or Google or Facebook. I didn't have any software engineering internships until my second semester senior year, right before I graduated. So here's the story of how I went from a technical support intern to a software engineer at a Fortune 500 company in under six months. Let's just jump right into it. One year ago, I was a tech support intern for McKee Foo's Little Debbie. I didn't do any coding and I answered the phone and I was like, have you tried unplugging and plugging it back in again? Oh uh, yeah, turn your monitor on. Oh, there you go. Literally. Honestly, it was a great job. Paid very well, my boss was awesome, but it wasn't what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to be a software engineer, but honestly, the coursework that I'd done, it just wasn't gonna cut it. The projects I had done, same. So, it's time for the grind, you know? And if you're in college right now, or even if you're an entry level programmer, you should be applying like crazy right now. But make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. This is what I did. First of all, first thing I did, I started applying, I started applying, I started applying, but, like I said, I didn't know what I was getting into. My coding interview skills were terrible. Oh my goodness. First interview I had, it was actually, so I talked to my supervisor about um, some program opportunities because 20% of my job was manual testing. So I went to my supervisor, I was like, hey, you know, maybe we can get some automated testing going. And he was like, yeah, we actually talked about this with developers, but we never had anyone to spare resources for it. And maybe you can do it. This was back in like July. And I waited, I waited, I waited, nothing. And then, you know, I'm like, okay. I even interviewed for a, a software engineering internship at the company. Terrible. I did so bad. Oh my goodness. The question was, let me tell you the question. If you have a directory full of files with no extension to it, how would you go about finding out the file type and moving through that? Uh, uh, I, I Google it. Yeah, no, that didn't work. Finally, time comes around and, you know, I meet with some developers who are like, yeah, you know, use this tool called Appium. And so I ended up making an automated test for the applications that we tested. And it was great. I demoed it. And honestly, it was the most fun I ever had at that job. I was like, okay, I definitely want to be a developer. This is what I want to do. It was more like a script. Just touch this, verify this. So I'm like, okay, this is what I want to do. Anyways, jump forward. So I started applying, started applying, started applying. Fail, fail, no, no, no. I was like, okay, I gotta get better at programming. So I started personal projects. And honestly, that was the fastest I'd ever learned to pro, like, I'd ever increased my programming skills. Struggling to figure out a problem that you wanna solve? Huh? That is the best way to learn. And on top of that, I was also doing practice programming interviews. I was using Hacker Rank. I was using 100 Days of Code. All that was going on while I was applying. And honestly, November is kind of late to start applying for jobs. So you gotta hop on that right away. I also started looking for internships. And I was able to find an internship that was remote. And so it was a programming inter inter internship in Java. I hadn't even done Java in my coursework. I am a computer science major, but for some reason, my university did not offer Java as a course. I was like, okay. I applied, interviewed with literally the whole company. It was like 15 interviews, and I got it. By that time, I had been practicing my programming. I was actually able to use projects that I was working on as examples. It was really great. And so in January, I was able to land my first programming internship and I was a senior. I can make a whole, you know, I'll talk about at the end what you should be doing right now with your time. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm going in and I'm learning Java. I'm like, oh man, this is amazing. And then I, you know, kept applying for jobs. Like I said, that company, another really great company, super smart people, but it's not what I wanted to do. I really wanted to work in the automotive industry 
or in the fashion industry, tech, not so much. And so I was applying, applying. Finally, I get that call. Hi, we'd like to interview you, blah, 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 blah. Um, make sure you're not a psycho, so quick phone interview. Okay, okay. They're like, all right. Then get another call. We'd like to do an online interview with the panel of three. I'm like, okay. I taught, you know, some technical a little bit. I'm like, all right. A couple weeks later. Yes, hello, sir. Uh, we would like to fly you out to a bar. I'm like, yes, let's get it. And honestly, if I had not been practicing my programming, doing personal projects, I would not have been able to get there, you know, flew in, did the uh, technical interview, and now I'm doing what I really love, and it's amazing. So right now, if you're someone either trying to get a job or you're a college student, you know, let me talk to the college students first. Start from your freshman year. If you're a software engineer, if you're a business major, if you're nursing, whatever, if you wanna get the job you want, Make sure you're doing personal projects, you're getting experience. Sometimes you might have to say no to that high school job that you really love. Get that experience, I guarantee you. Experience related to the field that you wanna be in is often better than getting paid that one job. To get that software engineering internship, I took almost a 50% pay cut, and it was the best decision I ever made. My mom was just like, you have rent to pay? Um... And I was able to make it through, but at the same time, Every single internship out there will be paid. Not every single, but almost every single one. Your freshman, sophomore year, you might have to shadow someone. Do it. Do personal projects. And for those seniors out there, you need to be applying, applying, applying. And while you're applying, you can be working on uh, linked lists, so those sets, big O notation, all that good stuff, and working on per a personal project that is related to what you want to do to get that job that you want to land and honestly you got this for my people who are you know still trying to build up to that first software engineering job same thing personal projects practice that interviewing point get that resume crisp and fresh and then once you have you know your personal projects maybe the languages frameworks you know just keep on interviewing don't give up you got this and say if the job that you really want turns you down or very competitive, you think you might not make it, get a job that's related to that field and keep on improving your skills. Who knows, two, three years, if you still want that, go for it. But anyways, guys, I really hope that this helped you. And if you have any other questions, you know, hit me on Instagram, I'll try and help in any way I can, uh, Twitter, or in the comments down below. Either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is kind of new for me, so it is what it is. But that is how I went from a technical support intern to a full-fledged software engineer under six months. Good luck, guys, and we'll see you next time here on Jordan Shar. Later.